Hi, my name is Jeremy Cook, and today I'll be going over the final chapter of my clear polycarbonate strand beast, the Clear Walker. I've been working on it over several months, and through some failures and additions, I've gotten it to where it'll, it'll walk pretty well by itself. But I had some other ideas for how to make it look even better. These include a head, some lights, a tail, and some other stuff that you'll see in just a second. So follow along and see how I made it. The results are pretty spectacular. So the first thing for this strand beast that I wanted was a head. This, this could hold my, uh, my GoPro camera and a, a NeoPixel ring so it looked like it had kind of a face. I was going to use two LED, programmable LEDs on a strip above, but eventually I scrapped that for a matrix. You can see I put some holes in here and put the wires through the back of the central, the central piece of polycarbonate. There I'm attaching the top with two-part epoxy and the top goes on there. The, the whole top, it just kind of slides on a friction fit so it works works really well really makes it easy to work on things and there it is dried somewhat added a little more epoxy just to make sure it was was good but you can see it sliding on there then adding the GoPro camera and again I thought I'd use those programmable LEDs but I didn't end up doing that and there it is attached to the, the clear walker. So after that, it was time to make a tail. This looks kind of like a cannon from that drawing, but it is actually a tail. So my first idea was to, to use like a bicycle flag. I, actually, somebody at a Maker Fair gave me, gave me that idea, which it seemed pretty good, but I ended up going with a piece of clear polycarbonate tubing, which seemed to fit along with the, the whole theme of the build too, being, you know, clear polycarbonate. So there it is hooked up. It's on the same fixture as the head and it's just got a uh, some um, programmable LEDs on the back. Now once that was all done it was time to take care of the wiring. I used a HC05 Bluetooth module to con communicate with the smartphone and you can see me here wiring up the, the uh, Tamiyama connectors for rechargeable batteries. I laid it all out on a piece of wood first. I thought I'd use that in the actual build, but ended up kind of scrapping it later. But anyway, you can see it all me laying everything out here, connecting it with, with hot glue. I'm sure that's not the proper way to do it, but that's how I did it for now. And those are the two H bridge, H bridge switches and the speed controller. And that's all kind of connected up to an Arduino. And this is just kind of a, a trial, you know, it's good enough to get it to walk around, but not quite how I wanted it in the end. So in just a second, I'll do a little little walk trial, see if it'll actually walk around under Bluetooth control. Should be awesome. Actually, it wasn't quite that awesome. I had some problems still. And, you know, on the bench top, it was working pretty well here. You can see me controlling it with my phone. Goes really well forwards and goes backwards pretty well. But once I tried to make it turn with one side going forwards and the other side back, well, you can see here it just kind of falls over. Here's another view of an earlier trial. Yeah, that doesn't look so good. So the, fir the first thing I tried, I reinforced the bottom a little bit more. I didn't think that'd solve everything, but it was a good, good step to take. And then I did some more wiring and reprogramming. So first thing I did, I put in a, uh, a buck converter, which puts, put five volts to the Arduino without having to have an external battery supply. Also, you can see everything here I put on the bottom acrylic piece, not on the wood. Again, using hot glue, I don't know. It, it worked for this application. And there I am hooking up the, the tail things with a servo style connector. And those are the two batteries. Nicely, nicely Velcroed onto it. And tightening down the, the GoPro and then wiring up the new Pixel ring. Use heat shrink just to, to make it, keep it from shorting and then I had the connector for the LED matrix that I eventually ended up using instead of that strip of LEDs. Just use that for one eye and then the GoPro would kind of form the other eye just, just for looks of course. Turned out pretty well. And there it is rotating around. And of course I use a little bunch of zip ties in this whole build. More zip ties. And there it is. So, 
ready for the second trial. And as you can see here, the thing is pretty happy, so it actually worked. Looks pretty pretty beefy there, walking around just on the on the thing. You can see the tail there, the head there. And as you can see it walking around, it actually kind of does this thing. And instead of turning with one, one side going forwards and the other backwards, it actually does it by hesitating on the one side. Kind of a, a slow turn, like a car or something. So after that, it was time to add some LED leg lights. This was maybe sort of an afterthought, but I always thought it'd be cool. I decided to just go ahead and go ahead and do it. And um, yeah, it turned out to look look really good, as you'll see in a second. It looked good in the garage, but in order to showcase its abilities, I took to the beach to film it. PJ Asaturo did the camera work for this. As you can see, it looks spectacular. Not many sunsets are this good looking. You got really lucky. I hope you enjoyed the Clearwalker. Please be sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, or even leave a comment. Thanks for watching.